Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Brittany and if you read the title you know that today we are talking about my Yorkie's first heat cycle. There's not very many videos on this or really information in general. I think the world considers it a little taboo. There's no reason for that and so I wanted to share my experience with it and also open up the comments to anyone else to share their experiences. We're going to be covering three main topics in this video. One, personality changes. Two, diapering and any other products. And number three is going to be spaying. First on the subject of personality changes, I want to discuss how varied this can be from dog to dog and from breed to breed. I've had two female Yorkies that have went through heat cycles and honestly, they couldn't be more different. Luna here has very much calmed down and become almost impossibly clingy. She pretty well wants to be near me or on top of me 100% of the day. And whenever she's not, she's very distressed about it. This was very different from before. She was loving before, but her heat cycle has taken that level of clinginess and anxiety to a completely new level. The female Yorkie that I had before, that wasn't the case at all. If anything, she got more distant during her heat cycle. So that just shows you that you're going to have huge swings even amongst like breeds. I'd love to hear like your personal experience in the comments about how your dog's personality changed while they were in heat. The only negative personality trait that I have seen during this heat cycle is the fact that she is more vocal towards other dogs. Her level of barking has increased almost 100%. Where we could pass a dog on the street and she'd pretty well ignore them, now she really wants to bark at other dogs. I am really hoping that this automatically goes away after her heat cycle and doesn't become a habit that I'm gonna have to work with her and train out of. Other personality changes I've noticed is a great increase in general laziness. She doesn't want to play. I've read that this can be a thing and it's definitely a thing with Luna. She was probably the most playful Yorkie I have ever known before this heat cycle. And now if I can get her to throw the ball once or twice across the room, that's pretty good. For the most part, she really just wants to sleep and rest. I've also found her laying and bedding in odd places. Really interesting nooks and crannies being wedged in between pillows, various methods of hiding. I've found her underneath the couch sleeping and she's willingly been going into her crate to sleep whenever she's not being held by me. This is all different behavior than what was previously normal. Now from the information I've read online, you can expect almost anything. You could have a dog that's super clingy and then you could end up with a dog that doesn't want anything to do with you during her heat cycle. If you notice your dog's personality change, don't be too alarmed because it was almost alarming to me how distinctive of a change I noticed in her. Okay, now I wanna go into diapering and covering your pet so they aren't uh, bleeding and discharging all over your home. If this is like too, you know, kind of grimy for you, then just skip ahead. Diapering. I had to measure Luna's waist to make sure that I was getting the right size. Uh, they come as small as extra extra small. These are the ones that I have been using. They are disposable and I got them on Amazon. I can link them in the comments if you guys are interested. These are really good quality. Like I was 
quite surprised. I wasn't sure what to expect because my previous Yorkie, I didn't need to diaper her. She didn't bleed almost at all. It was really, really minor where Luna it is quite dramatic and has been constant for about a week and a half. Knowing what I know now, I would have opted for reusable diapers with removable linings that you can exchange out. But there's a couple reasons why I went with disposables that I didn't have the information I had now. One of them is that this is probably going to be her only heat cycle. I do plan on spaying her. We'll cover that in the next section. Second, my previous experience was that my teeny tiny female dog that I had previously, who was also a Yorkie, didn't bleed hardly at all. So that's what I thought was normal. Well, turns out normal can be just as varied between female tiny Yorkies as it can be between female humans. So consider that before you choose disposable over reusable. I'm on my second pack of disposable diapers and I'm going to probably be ordering another pack. They're around $8 each and they last me mm, three, four days depending on how often I am taking out Luna. And she's not sleeping in them. I'm letting her out of them at night because she is crated. So as previously mentioned, I didn't have to cover my previous female. She didn't discharge enough to leave markings around my home. So if you're lucky, that could be your dog. So don't expect that you're going to have to cover them. If you do though, it's important that you change whatever you're using disposable or reusable often because they can get infections just like humans can. Putting it on Luna actually was completely fine. During this time, they're probably going to be a little bit more complacent, but I would just introduce them with treats and love like you would any new object. She really hasn't seemed to be bothered by wearing them at all. I was really, really pleasantly surprised. I hope that's the case for you. Let me know if your dog just completely hates them or has had problems like shredding them. I'm sure that some dogs would probably just despise them. Now I'm going to cover spaying. I will spay Luna, my plan is before her next cycle. Dogs can cycle anywhere between six months to almost a year. Usually they'll have a couple heat cycles a year, but that's gonna vary by breed of dog. Luna's eight months right now. And so that's fairly typical. My previous Yorkie didn't get her first heat cycle until about 11 months old. And there's no telling right now how often Luna's will be. And I do plan on spaying her before her next one unless it comes unexpectedly soon. I am a full advocate that you should do whatever is right for you with your dog and do your own research. Dogs who are spayed before they go into heat do have a lower chance of ovarian cancer. However, there are many societies, countries around the world that believe that it's actually fairly barbaric to spay your dog at all. Why I'm spaying Luna after her first heat cycle for me personally is simply a safety issue. I might be out of town and there might be a time in the future if she's not spayed where she could be getting into early heat and could be potentially attacked by a male dog or even a female dog due to the increased level of hormones that's going on in her system. I also have no plans on breeding Luna. She's really too small. She's only about four pounds and that's, that's far too small to breed and also I just, don't know anything about raising little teeny tiny puppies. And so it's really just not in the wheelhouse. I would be really curious to hear if any of you have encountered some almost barbaric bullying by your vet. I went to two different vets whenever Luna was young and one of them was so adamant 
that I have Luna spayed and that I was the most horrific pet parent imaginable by waiting till that first heat cycle. It made me feel really, really terrible. Know that not everybody's information is always going to be accurate and we're all just going to do whatever is the best that we feel. And so just be kind to that bet that was terrible to me just hopefully you know she can find some kindness to kind of tone down her incredibly strong beliefs we're all just doing the best we can after all if you're interested in seeing luna's other videos they're all in one playlist called luna fay i hope you found this video helpful and i'll be back shortly with another one until then bye